Mario Party is a hell of fun and a hell of a lot of friendships and families have been broken because of it. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you like Mario Bros, give us a ground pound on the like button and subscribe. We talk Nintendo slash Mario Bros every weekend, plus whenever news comes up. Let's get right into it. Today is top five, top five difficult Mario Party levels. Number five, Waluigi's Island from Mario Party 3. Waluigi's Island is an intricate board with lots of happening spaces that frequently alter the landscape. Players can end up stuck in loops or fall into traps set by Boo, making it challenging to secure stars consistently. Number four, Spiny Desert, Mario Party 3. Spiny Desert is a board where players can encounter multiple chain events where one action leads to another, often leading to the unfavorable outcomes of four players. The constant shifting of Boo and Bowser spaces and the presence of several traps can make navigating this board quite difficult. Number three, Horror Land, Mario Party 2. Horror Land is a creepy and challenging board. It features a day and night cycle and during the night, players are susceptible to Boo and Bowser spaces that can result in significant point losses. Additionally, there's a happening space called Mirage Monkey that shuffles the board's pathways, making it difficult to plan a strategy. Number two, Bowser's Gnarly Party, Mario Party 2. Bowser's Gnarly Party is known for its high number of Bowser spaces, which can lead to frequent Bowser events that negatively impact players. Bowser's Gnarly Party is infamous for its unpredictability and the potential to completely upend the game with Bowser's mischief. And number one, Eternal Star, Mario Party 3. Eternal Star is the final board in Mario Party 3, and it is challenging due to its layout and the requirements to unlock the star stamp. To reach the star space, players must collect three star stamps by winning specific events, and these stamps can be stolen by opponents. The board's complex structure and the risk of losing star stamps make it one of the toughest boards in the series. Those are my top five hardest levels in Mario Party. Let me know what yours are in the comments below. I love to see them. I comment and I read them all. Until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.